You can hear me, you're back When I asked him about this photo displayed prominently at Alpha headquarters, a photo called Daddy's Hands, the emotions were hard to hold back. That is the backbone of America. And we have that photograph just to remind everybody who we serve. Hey guys, we're here at Farragut High School where Ted Cruz was on a campaign stop here earlier today. Investigation is far from over. You can see they've turned the lights on behind me. This is where the anthropologists with the state are actually looking for bone fragments from right outside the shed where Azotea told investigators he cut up the bodies of Gibson and Terrell. Hey, get the Grinch! Oh, oh well. no, good thing we got the we'll law enforcement here. In February, we found out that she has, um, she does have brain cancer. It's, um, she has bilateral optic nerve gliomas, which are tumors behind both of her eyes. And she has one in the brain stem. Uh, when we found out Maddie was sick, the deputies came and they wanted to do something to help support the family. And they asked if they could do No Shave November. Watch it, mate. The law enforcement community in general, and in particular our agency, special. Um, we're a family, and we stick family stick together. But if you ever need anything at all, all you have to do is call one of these guys in the brown. Okay? It takes a lot to get her down. Um, she's she's a great kid, full of life. And hopefully, I mean, she's young. She's five. This is something she's going to be battling for the rest of her life. So hopefully, if we can. Um, get the right treatment, see the right people, you know, if there is a cure, if there is something that's going to be able to help, um, we'll be there. Hey, I was tucking through the loop, through the handle. There we go. All right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, today I'm uh, doing a walk from Rogersville, Tennessee, to the Mountain Home Medical Center uh, in Johnson City. Uh, to gain awareness for veterans. It's too bad that it has to take some, you know, grand event or a holiday for us to be able to reach out to people that serve. Uh, and I thought that it'd be a perfect time uh, to get out, uh, walk along the streets. Uh, and really, I'm focusing on uh, veteran suicide rates. Uh, approximately 22 veterans a day um, are lost to suicide. Uh, so as I'm walking, I'm placing a flag every 22 paces. I have about 2,700 flags. Kind of. This organization, Team Red, White, and Blue, uh, really focuses on getting out and doing physical activity, getting your mind off, um, you know, whatever might be holding you back. I just jogged the bridge. I'm estimating 17 to 18 hours, uh, but being up on your feet for so long, uh, who knows?